Hey there, it's me again. So I've made several videos about what biomedical engineers do, but I haven't talked about all the different types of jobs that are out there. So this is a good starting point if you want to understand the different career options that are I available to you as a biomedical engineer. I think most people know that biomedical engineering is a very broad field, so it's going to have a lot of different career options. But even so, I think it's fair to say that this list of 20 jobs is pretty comprehensive. And it should be noted that this list is not exhaustive. There are many other jobs out there, and there are some jobs that may even be created in the future that we cue and even think of right now because biomedical engineering is such a cutting-edged field. So these 20 jobs are loosely grouped into five categories, clinical and hospital-based roles, research and development roles, software and data-focused roles, industry and manufacturing roles, finally sales, marketing, and consulting roles. Okay, so let's start with the first category, which is clinical and hospital-based roles. The first job is a clinical engineer. Clinical engineers typically work in hospitals, and their main responsibility is to manage the medical equipment within the hospital. They need to make sure that all the equipment is functioning properly, and also they need to make sure that it is safe for both patients and staff. So they check for radiation safety, electrical safety, and other potential hazards. They also need to make sure that the equipment is in compliance with various regulations. The next job is a Biomedical Equipment Technician, or BMET for short. BMETs are responsible for installing, calibrating, and repairing various types of medical devices. They usually work in hospitals or medical facilities, and they often work on very complex equipment such as MRI machines, CT scanners, and other types of imaging equipment, as well as patient monitoring systems and other equipment. The third job is a Rehabilitation Engineer. Rehabilitation engineers design, develop, and test various types of assistive technologies for people with disabilities. These technologies can include things like prosthetic limbs, mobility devices, communication devices, and other types of assistive devices. The fourth job is an imaging specialist. Imaging specialists work with various types of imaging equipment such as MRI, CT, or ultrasound equipment. They are responsible for maintaining, optimizing, and troubleshooting these systems. All right, so moving on to the second category, which is research and development, or R&D. The first job is a biomedical design engineer. Biomedical design engineers are responsible for designing and developing various types of medical devices and products. This can include things like designing implants, prosthetics, diagnostic devices, and other types of medical devices. The next job is a medical imaging scientist. Medical imaging scientists develop and improve various types of imaging techniques such as MRI, PET, and X-ray. They also develop new ways to analyze medical images, and they often work in universities or government labs. Next up, we have a tissue engineer. Tissue engineers work on developing artificial organs, tissue scaffolds, and other types of biomaterials for use in regenerative medicine. The next job is a biomaterials engineer. Biomaterials engineers develop new materials for use in implants and drug delivery systems. They also study the interaction between these materials and the body. Next, we have a neural engineer. Neural engineers work on developing brain-machine interfaces and neural prosthetics. They often work in universities or startups. The last job in this category is a genomic or bioinformatics engineer. Genomic and bioinformatics engineers apply engineering principles to the analysis of genetic data. All right, so moving on to the third category, which is software and data-focused roles. The first job is a biomedical software engineer. Biomedical software engineers develop software and apps for use in medical devices, healthcare systems, and other applications. This can include things like developing apps for patient monitoring, diagnostics, and other types of medical applications. Next up, we have a health data analyst. Health data analysts work with various types of medical data to help researchers and clinicians gain insights that can improve patient care and outcomes. The next job is a machine learning or AI and healthcare engineer. These engineers build algorithms that can be used to predict diseases, diagnose patients, and improve healthcare delivery. They often work in the development of software and applications that can automate tasks and improve efficiency in the healthcare industry. And the last job in this category is a medical imaging AI developer. These engineers develop deep learning models for image-based medical diagnosis and image analysis. All right, so moving on to the fourth category, which is industry and manufacturing roles. The first job is a quality assurance or a QA engineer. 
Q engineers are responsible for ensuring that medical products meet all applicable regulatory standards and quality requirements. They often work in medical device companies, and they perform various types of tests and inspections to ensure that products are safe and effective. The next job is a regulatory affairs specialist. Regulatory affairs specialists handle the approval process for devices and products with agencies such as the FDA and ISO. They ensure that all documentation and testing is in compliance. The next job is a manufacturing engineer. Manufacturing engineers oversee all aspects of the production process for medical devices. They develop and maintain the production systems, and they also ensure that products meet all quality and regulatory requirements. And the last job in this category is a validation engineer. Validation engineers test systems to ensure that they are in compliance with regulations, and they also develop validation protocols and reports. All right, so moving on to the fifth and final category, which is sales, marketing, and consulting roles. The first job is a medical device sales engineer. These engineers combine their technical knowledge with sales skills to successfully market and sell medical devices. They often work for medical device companies, and they are responsible for building relationships with customers and generating sales. The next job is a clinical application specialist. Clinical application specialists train doctors and nurses on how to use new medical technology. They often work for medical device companies, and they are responsible for providing technical support and training to customers. And the last job is a biomedical consultant. Biomedical consultants advise hospitals or other organizations on biomedical technology and engineering issues. They often work independently or for consulting firms and they are responsible for providing expert advice and recommendations to clients. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.